obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. Touch gloves. Touch. Fujimoto ranked number 13 by the WBA. Daniel Dubois in the top 10 of the WBO and heading maybe for a world title shot in 2020. We'll see. He's got to get rid of Fujimoto first. There's that jab, which he says is the key to everything that he does. And the first punch he throws is a jab, and the first time he, he hits Fujimoto with it, puts him straight back on his heels. Fujimoto from a martial arts background, and like so many from that sort of background, can be a little bit square on. Well, he got to try. It's obvious he has to get try, get try and try the longer reach there of, of Dubois, but it has to be with lateral movement. If he's going to try and walk in straight lines or stay where he is now at this distance, he's just going to be the end of all the power shots, right on the end of it, or everything that Daniel throws. Right hand, he felt to the jaw. Fuji Moto. Understandably, looking wary. Nice little left hook there from Dubois. He threw it a little bit lower, he's fighting a shorter fella, he's sort of adjusting that left hook. Some four inches, the taller man, maybe even a little bit more, Dubois. Didn't quite catch him now. Hit Fujimoto on the arm and still sort of knocked him back. That's nice left hook, lovely shot. He's been over in Los Angeles training with big heavyweights, he says, Fujimoto to be ready for this. Not too much sparring of the Dubois proportions available in Japan. <laughs> But he stayed out of trouble so far with, with a, a minute to go, and I suppose that's a success of its own. There are a fair few people predicting this fight could be over in the first round. Fujimoto staying out of harm's way at the moment, and now holding on and spoiling. Just double up the jab, maybe, for, for Dubois. Just stopped target there with that Dubois. Yeah, the movement was before the punch was good. It's very little faint little shimmy before he tried to let that combination go. So at least the thought process is, is working for him. You know, he's trying to think of different things rather than just be straight and direct. Well, pretty much nothing apart from grim survival from Fujimoto as the first round goes to Dubois. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Daniel Dubois with Martin Bowers in his corner, and here's some of the action, such as it was in a fairly quiet opening round where there was pretty much nothing, Barry, from Fujimoto. No, but you can just see, you know, he took a, a couple of good shots there, did Fujimoto, so nothing was really fully flushed there from Dubois, but obviously he can take a little bit, but he was he felt the power with the first punch to bow through with that jab and sort of went in defensive mode, which we sort of expected, to be honest. So it's Dubois' job, you know, to overcome that. He says the key to his work in everything he does now is the jab, and now having once again to punch down Dubois, which is not always the easiest for a big man. Fujimoto does have some power, he's got 13 stoppage wins in his 21 victories, just the one defeat came in only a sixth fight seven years ago. Well, he's having a punch on with the jab, so you would sort of maybe suggest that he throw the jab a little bit lower and sort of punch up from the, maybe from the waist, because he hasn't got quite a oh, good jab. He's put him down with a jab. Would you believe it? He said he's got a quality jab, and that's what put him down, and his mouth's blooded.
It was a little bit what you said there, John. Ex martial artist with a little bit square foot in, and he got caught square with that jab. Dubois now will be even more confident than he would have been when the fight began. To be fair, though, Dubois just has such a solid left hand because you can see the foot and the hand, they move together. He steps in with the jab. It's, he doesn't just throw it from the, from the shoulders or the, or the hips. He, he steps with it, so it's all his way behind that left hand. Another big, solid, ramrod left hand. Oh, and shot. the right cross as well. Dubois looking to unload and find the big shot. But just biding his time. Oh, not that time, though. And that, I think, will be good night, Kayataro Fujimoto. Great right hand, right through the target, and there is no way he is getting up. Wow, what a shot. Just so beautifully timed that right hand there by Dubois. It was absolutely punch perfect. Caught Fujimoto as he was throwing as well. That was the, the worst part of it. He's throwing himself, so his, his chin's lifted up a little bit. He's squared up, and Dubai just tons of perfection. Just chopped down with that right hand, and Paul Fujimoto had to take the full brunt of that shot. Medical man in there, Fujimoto getting oxygen as we're watching pictures of our victor, Daniel Dubois. He's had an amazing year. Five knockout victories since that frustrating distance points decision against Kevin Johnson back end of last year. Almost seems in another life, doesn't it? Everything yeah. has gone his way this year. He's had a fantastic year and a fantastic start to his career, really has. And, you know, this was never going to be the big test like the Nathan Gorman potentially was. But the way that punch was probably the best punch we've seen him throw. I think it was a fantastic shot. And, and, and I... And you could see from literally the first punch he threw, it was only going to be one winner. But Fujimoto is now up on a stool, still receiving oxygen, but he's uh, actually still sitting on the ring canvas at this stage, leaning against the stool. There he is. And he doesn't really know what hit him. Certainly never been hit with anything like that in his previous professional career. No, but some of the early shots he took I thought he took him quite well to his credit, but that no one was getting it from that sort of right hand. Not the way not when he was throwing, pushing his body into the shot as Dubois really turns from the waist, he dips that shoulder in as well. It was just fantastic. Well there's the jab that put him down for the first time where he was really very much caught squared up. And it's a good and it's a great job because Dubois, as we as I said, his feet, his foot, his front foot and his front hand, they work in unison. So he steps in that jab. It's the full weight of his body in that left hand. So it's a it's a really heavy, great shot. It's a, it's a fantastic jab. And if you're walking onto it, then you know, it's gonna knock you back at the very least if it don't knock you over. So you know, and, and I think Dubai's jab is known to have that weight. But that right hand was more than just power. It was technique and timing, it really was. It was a fantastic punch. Well, it really is a jab which is admired. I know, speaking to Frank Bruno, how good he thinks it is, and he could jab a bit. So too oh, Lennox that. Lewis, but he can bang as well. Look at that right hand. And again, he just, just walked him down. As he got on the ropes, he slightly squared up. See, just when he's about to throw. And that was good, that was impressive part of the Baltimore. He timed it, so as soon as Fudge is about to throw, he lets that right hand go. I thought it was I thought it was perfectly straight, but actually he lifted the elbow up and just sort of turned the body and hooked around a little bit with it. Shortened it up. It was, it was really good, a great shot. Fantastic. The knockout he wanted, and Fujimoto now has got up off the canvas and is sitting on a stool, no longer receiving oxygen and slowly regaining composure. Daniel Dubois very happy with what he's done and he'll be back in the ring, I suspect, round about April. And he'll be looking for a big name opponent then. I wonder who it will be, somebody to really make an announcement and somebody, I suspect, who's going to be a little bit more imposing than Kayotaro Fujimoto. But he did everything that was required, Barry. He did, and you know, and you sort of think he's only young and don't rush him, but David Hayes said something earlier on. If, if you no, know, he might be young, 
But if he's ready, he's ready. You know, the age feels almost doesn't become a factor with the ability and the, and the power he has. And I think and if he is ready, you have to let him go. He's a year older than a guy called Tyson was when he won a world title. Yeah. And he is exciting, no question about it. And there's a real buzz around the sporting world now. His sister as well has just been crowned as young sportsman of the year on the BBC Sports Personality Programme. She's going to be heading off to the Olympics in Tokyo next summer. I wonder if she's going to be coming back with a gold medal. I know Daniel's going to be there. So that'll be two fighters that Richie Wood will be taking credit for now. Daniel <laughs> and the sister. <laughs> Well, Fujimoto, happy to say, is now back on his feet and having his gloves taken off, and he will now go across and offer his congratulations to Daniel Dubois. And I think we can now get into the ring because Thomas Triber awaits us. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, ten seconds of round number two. Your winner by way of knockout. He is still WBO international champion and now also the WBC silver heavyweight champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Kojinu, Lati, Gorman, Tete, Fujimoto all knocked out in 2019. I wonder what 2020 is going to bring. And as somebody said at the weigh-in, he eyes up an opponent.